All right, so I'm going to show you the setup for the studio. So when we clean up, the studio should look like this. Notice that there's a tripod right here. Um, the lights are facing towards the background, um, and the cords are all wrapped up like this. Okay. So take mental pictures. Okay. okay. So when you are putting the camera on the tripod. You need to first make sure the tripod plate is there. So this is the tripod plate right here. Uh -huh. Okay. This is going to fit onto the bottom of your camera. You want to make sure that it screws in. And the best way I've found to do this is you use your finger and press down and turn until it is fingertip tight. Okay. Notice that this is facing off a little bit here. I did that in, on purpose. And so. Once it's tight enough, I can't turn it anymore with my thumb, I'm going to turn the whole thing from here. It's going to tighten it just a little bit more to help make sure it's secure on here. Okay, this is also very important. When you put the camera on, it's important that you hold this in another way. And there's a button right here. You have to press, press this button to make it go down. Okay, so I'm holding my, my strap here just so I don't drop it. And it's here. Before you let go, before you let go, you need to make sure it's on tight. Okay, that's also why I'm holding this. So in the case, in the event that this is not tight, then yeah, I still have a hand on it. Okay. We also, before you let go, you need to make sure that the handle here, there's this wheel here, you tighten this so that it doesn't move. Otherwise, it may drop forward like this, and also potentially damage the camera. I mean, notice I'm still holding this. What that thing rips on? Yeah, she's gonna hold on to it. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go over how to use the light and the light stand. So, on the top here, this is the light. Uh -huh. This is the light stand. Notice that there is a power cord here, but I'm just gonna take this off right now so it's a little simpler looking. Okay, so first I'll go over the light. Um, back here is the light. In the front, this big piece right here is called a softbox. Inside the softbox, Oh, pretty soft. Uh, you can open it up here. And. Oh, what's the light bulb? We're going to find the light bulb. Oh, that oh. is right. Okay. Don't touch it with your hands, but you can look inside. How many light bulbs do you see in there? One. Two! Okay, so there are in fact two light bulbs. One is in the middle, <laughs> and one is around. Okay, the one that goes around is the flash tube. Um, there is like xenon gas in there, and as it uh, as electricity flows through, it ignites the gas and it gives a burst of light. The middle one is a modeling lamp, okay? So that's going to be a continuous light, kind of like the lights that you see above you. It's continuously on. Is that the ecosystem one? Okay. Oh, I forgot to ask. Okay, so if I have nothing in between my source of light and my subject, am I going to have hard or soft light? Hard light, because you'd clearly see the shadow defined, right? If I put a diffuser in front of that, then is that going to be hard or soft light? Okay, good. Now I'm going to put even more diffusion on here. What the? Right, so now there are three layers of diffusion on here, and that's going to soften the light to the point that you won't see shadows. Thank you. Okay, so with green screen photography, it's important not to see shadows on the face or even in the background because then it's easier to cut and paste things. All right, let's go over the light stand. Cool. Are we going? Okay. All right, now I'm going to go over how to use a light stand. So, this is the light stand. Um, let me show you what you want to not touch so much. Like down here, if the lights are really close like this, it is unstable. So the lights need to be out like this. Also, some people get confused and they try to lower or adjust it from here. And you need to not adjust it from here because that's also not, this is not what it looks like. This should be all the way at the bottom down here. Okay? So you got to spread so, the legs. So, yeah, the wider these legs are, the more stable it's going to be. So you want it to be something like this. Okay, now let's talk about these controls right here. So if I want to raise the light, I'm going to first loosen this knob, and then I can raise up. Notice I'm using two hands, okay? If I make it really, really, really tall up oh, there. Oh, fire! Fire! 